Waikiki is a powerful, often dreamlike film about a young Hawaiian woman who has three part-time jobs but still can't manage to rent a room in Honolulu. It's the first feature film by Christopher Kahunahana and it really shows off his masterful filmmaking skills. Danielle Zalapani gives an extraordinary performance as Kea, a hula dancer in Waikiki who also works as a bartender and a part-time Hawaiian language and culture teacher. Moved out from an abusive boyfriend, she lives in her van, saving money to rent an affordable room. But late one night that boyfriend confronts her and in making her escape, she hits a homeless man. Rather than calling for help, she drags him into the van. It's just the beginning of her ordeal as her straightforward realistic narrative becomes a kind of bad dream which mixes memories of past trauma with visions of living on the land with her grandmother far from the concrete jungles of Waikiki. For much of the film, her homeless companion, played by Peter Shinkoda, says absolutely nothing. One night she leaves him in her van while she's at work, and when she comes back, the van is gone. Eventually the two become friendly. He guides her through seamy parts of the city, and she keeps checking on the status of her application for a room. Filmmaker Kahunahana wants his audience to realize that Hawaii is nothing like the image tourists have of these islands. He wants people to see how Hawaiians have been cut off from their own culture and lands. The film is a kind of lament for what has been lost, and yet it offers some hope for how traditional Hawaiian culture can help Hawaiians deal with their problems today. With despair as its prevailing emotion, Waikiki isn't easy to watch, but the amazing talent of its leading actress and the strong skills of the director make it well worth seeing. The final screening is sold out, but for $8 you can watch the film on the festival's streaming channel or online from now through Sunday evening. Visit hif.org for tickets. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.